Hey guys, it's Wendy and welcome to the video. Today I will be showing you how to transform yourself into a super scary zombie and the good thing about it is it's super easy and super affordable. Before starting your makeup look, you want to tie your hair back because you do not want to get paint all over your hair, girl. You will need liquid glue, any liquid glue you have lying around. And then you need paint brushes. Make sure they're old and cheap ones that you don't really care about because they might get dirty. You will also use paint. Uh, I have three types of paint on me right there. But you can use face paint or any paint you have. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You just need a red color, basically. You will need fake blood. And then you need an eyeshadow palette with purples and blues. And mostly dark colors for the eye makeup. Lastly, you will need toilet paper, tissue paper, whatever you want to call it. You will be using one ply, so you can have five ply and make a lot of one plies but that will work best for the makeup so starting off you're going to get your two ply and make it into one ply which is super fun and super easy you can make as many as you think you're gonna need for the amount of wounds you're doing but like I recommend 10 or 15 then I apply the glue on a surface just to make it easier to apply it because I do not want to be getting it out of the bottle then you want to get your paintbrush and your uh, toilet paper or tissue paper and just put it on the area you want to make your wound and just start applying the glue onto the tissue. It's going to be a little hard, trust me. It kept falling off or like sticking into one area and making like a little ball. What I'm trying to say is don't give up if you feel like it's like getting stuck or not working. Just keep trying. The method that works the best is uh, try not to apply glue or go over the same area you did more than like once because if you do it and then it's gonna like come off and get stuck to the paintbrush but as you can see I applied some and I like the way I did it so I'm moving on to another area I decided to do my forehead because it's an empty space for me to create a open wound or whatever you want to call it I don't really know what it is I think it's a wound. Uh, I don't know what to call it, but I guess, um, you know, it's whatever. I ended up only doing two wounds on my face. You can do on other parts of your body, but I just did my face just for the video. But you want to let it dry, and while we're waiting, I suggested we do the eyes. So for the eyes, you really want to look up reference pictures. They will help you a lot. But I'm going for a purple tone, kind of uh, uh, greenish. The color doesn't pick up that good at this type of lighting, but you can do it as dramatic or as bare as you want it to look. But I really like it. And why not move on to the best part, in my opinion, which is the red paint. You're going to use the same method as you were using to uh, put on the tissue, but it's going to be way easier and more fun. So you just want to fill in the white spaces from the toilet paper. The way to get super red and gory paint color is by mixing red and a little bit of black, and then it gives you a really nice kind of old blood color, and it just looks really real and gives it a really nice wow factor to it. Now if you want you can add some red blood to your makeup look. You just pat it on top. Make sure it's kind of dry so it doesn't make a big mess but that is the final look. Hopefully I didn't scare you too much. Have a safe and happy Halloween and thank you for watching. a man, even though I'm a girl, I'm a go do it.